The glamour model ex-girlfriend of boxer Joe Calzaghe is facing jail after being convicted of money laundering in a £100 million operation to smuggle cash to Dubai. Joe Emma Larvin, 44, took suitcases containing around £5 million in cash through Heathrow Airport and on to flights to the United Arab Emirates. In autumn 2020, Larvin, her partner Jonathan Johnson, 55, Amy Harrison, 27, and Beatrice Audi, 26, were all part of an operation to smuggle dirty money out of UK, knowing or suspecting it was the proceeds of criminal conduct as they agreed to act as money mules. Larvin, who dated Welch boxer Calzaghe for six years before they split in 2009, insisted during her trial that she believed the trips had been authorized by the United Arab Emirates embassy officials and that the cases contained money and official documents, but she was convicted by the jury of removing criminal property from the UK. Judge Sarah Panath released the guilty defendants on bail until their sentencing hearing. A fifth defendant, Liam Rabone, 29, from West Kensington, was acquitted by the jury of a similar charge of removing criminal property from the UK. The court heard the mastermind of the smuggling ring, Abdullah al Falasi, 47, arranged 83 successful trips over 18 months involving cash in the region of £100 million. Prosecutor Julian Christopher K.C. said suitcases contained up to £500,000 each, and couriers were paid £3,000 for their efforts. During the trial, Larvin was questioned over messages she exchanged with Johnson, including one admitting to being nervous about the trip, complaining about the number of suitcases she had been asked to take, and Johnson telling her to be super careful. When she cleared security, he asked, all okay? And she replied, yes, phew. Al Falasi, who is from Dubai, has been jailed for more than nine years for his involvement in the plot, while another mule, Tara Hanlon, 32, was handed a 34-month prison sentence. Larvin told the trial she was recruited by a handler named Michelle, meeting in a coffee shop and agreeing to ferry suitcases to Dubai. She took two trips, one with Johnson and another with Harrison. The NCA said Ati made two trips to Dubai herself, smuggling 3.4 million pounds, and she helped with the arrangements for 16 other mule journeys. Harrison made three trips between July and September 2020, taking 15 suitcases containing around £6 million. The mules were part of a WhatsApp group called Sunshine and Lollipops, where arrangements were made, while cash was packed with coffee and air freshener to try to avoid detection by border agency sniffer dogs, Larvin and Johnson, both of Ripon, North York's, Harrison, of Worcester Park, Surrey, and Audi of Fulham, all denied but were convicted of removing criminal property from the UK. Rabone, of West Kensington, denied and was cleared of the same charge. In a statement, Rabone's legal representatives Jane's solicitors said he is delighted with his acquittal. The case is due back in court on Thursday to set sentencing dates. Adrian Searle, director of the National Economic Crime Center in the NCA, said, the laundering of such vast quantities of cash around the globe enables organized criminals and corrupt elites to clean or hide their ill-gotten gains. Cash smugglers typically work on behalf of international controller networks who move the finances of the international drug trade, people traffickers, fraudsters, and other criminal groups, making the source of the money difficult to trace. The criminality this enables costs the UK billions every year causes misery and ruins lives across the world. This case demonstrates the continued commitment by the NCA to crack down on money laundering and close the vulnerabilities being exploited.